welcome again to our next Q&A session all about fasting. Today I have the pleasure to speak to Dr. José Manuel García Verdugo, who is the medical director of the Buchinger Wilhelmi Fasting Clinic in Marbella. Hello, Dr. García Verdugo, and thank you very much for taking the time to answer some of the questions our followers are having about fasting. Thank you very much. Good morning to our big Buchinger Wilhelmi family. And um, yeah, today's question uh, we, re we receive quite often uh, since many people are concerned. And the question is, do medications break a fast in general? And that very question we received was about medication for rapid heart rate and thyroid medication. Okay. Well, you know, we always recommend if you want to fast to do under a medical control, even if you are in the clinic, for sure you will have it, but if you are at home, before you try, you should always see your home doctor and you make a complete uh, blood test because we don't know how is your general condition, like sugar or any other things. Hmm? In case that you are coming to our clinic, then when you arrive, the first thing you will have is a complete blood and urine checkup. And then you will see your doctor who will be the person who will follow you during all your staying in the clinic. Every day you have also the morning checkup with the nurse, taking all your blood pressure. If you need, if you are, for example, diabetic, they will see your, your sugar. How is, now with the COVID, we take temperature, we take you know, many things that, that you are safe in your staying here. Normally, medication doesn't stop a fasting, but during fasting time, as our body is changing very quickly, for example, blood pressure is decreasing in two, three days uh, in, in an enormous way, and sugar, cholesterol, all these things, probably most of the medication will be stopped under the control of your doctor. Some of them, for example, people with high blood pressure taking beta blockers, that we don't do it in one day. You need to do it in three, four days, privately. For example, one tablet, the, the next day three quarters, a half, one quarter, and then we stop. Other medications we cannot stop, like for example, all the hormones for the thyroid. That's something that you will never stop because then you will have a lot of side effects because you are not producing these substances in your body. People with, uh, for example, uh, atrial fibrillation, fluter, mm, they cannot stop the medication they have, but they are not, it's not a complication for fasting. The only thing that you have to take care of all the minerals, that's why we are controlling that with the uh, uh, blood test is very complete. We make everything in, in, in there. And then also most of the, for example, in Marbella, we repeat at the end again. So if it's any change, we can always control before you go home. Hmm? Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, what do you recommend to people who fast at home and are unsure about their medication? Should they most likely not just stop it? What do you recommend for them? You know, if you fast at home, if you have been doing that before and you have experienced because you were in our clinics or in another place, I always recommend you to talk to your doctor before. Never do by yourself because you can have uh, serious damage because sometimes uh, you can have side effects and you don't know. So always fasting under medical control. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. That was the question for today. And uh, if you have another question, then just comment below this video and we might answer your question in one of the next videos. Thank you everybody. Have a nice day and bye-bye.